Well, according to the Sagarin ratings, Oklahoma State has played the second most difficult schedule in the country this season, and the Cowboys are smack dab in the middle of the most challenging portion yet. The Pokes pummeled in the first half yesterday against Kansas, trailing by 27 points at the break, but OSU battled back in the second half, outscoring the Jayhawks by 12. That aggressive attitude will be needed from the start when OSU visits fourth-ranked Missouri on Wednesday. I mean, we got to take uh, take what we did the second half and build on it. Uh, like you said, uh, we didn't turn it around against Baylor at Baylor, and uh, like you said, I think that says something. So we got to take the second half. It's never fun walking out of here with a with a loss, but uh, we got to see how we played the second half and what it can do for us and uh, build on it in the future. Keaton Page scored 19 points in his final game at Allen Fieldhouse. He is now three points away from becoming the 10th leading scorer in OSU Hoops history, and Bill Self will be glad to see the Pawnee Pistol graduate. A little disappointing he passed me his second game of his sophomore season uh, 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 in the scoring ranks, but, but I, th I think he's certainly one of those guys that I admire. I, I love kids like that that are tough. and you know, He gets everyone's best shot and best defender every night, and he still finds a way to get shot off. Meanwhile, a brutal loss for the Sooners last night, falling to last place Texas Tech by 18 points. It was the first conference victory for the Red Raiders. OU shot just 33% and drops to 3-9 and nine in Big 12 play. Up next for the Sooners, the Red River rivalry. Texas comes to Norman Tuesday. The Cowboys visiting first place Missouri on Wednesday. That's your Dick Sporting Goods Sports Report. We'll be right back with a final look at the forecast after a quick timeout.